this video, we'll add dynamic command sorting here. So when we press a category, there's nothing to see here when there is no commands that are within that have that category. Then we'll press general. The general commands are loaded here. And then when we refresh, AutoMod is automatically selected here. This is quite an important video, so make sure you watch until the end. Let's get started. Okay, so in the last video, we added the ability to interact with these categories here. So when we click on AutoMod, we only want AutoMod commands. We don't want ping and idle, which are general commands. <laughs> We have a slight problem, which is the server side, the server side which is being rendered here. So each command, this is a server side variable. And what is, and also the browser events here are completely separate. So the browser can't really interact with server side variables. That is the issue. So there are ways to to overcome this, which can include rendering the server side variables or passing it, more specifically passing it to. We can there's ways to pass it to files like this. Basically hide commands that aren't part of the module. Or we can add um, we can add click events here when we're rendering with pug, which will be very helpful. We want to sort the commands. We want to add modules or categories. We're going to call them categories because I haven't done that before. Category. So what category is this command in? Idle. Well, which one does it fit in the most? I guess they all fit in prefix. <laughs> we could also have a category called customizable or something. Or admin. That might be less silly. Uh, more specific, sorry. So idle is a general command. We don't know where to put it. It's like utility commands. So command. So the default category we can set as general. We can have a default category here. And this basically overwrites the default category. But we don't need we don't need to explain that. We don't need to specify that. Because all commands are now in the in the general category. So Okay, so when we refresh the page, we want the first category to be selected automatically. So we want a category to be selected automatically. So if we type, if we go into, sorry, if we go into commands.js, and now what we can do is select the li elements and then the first element. Let's type this in the console to see what is going on. So you can understand that. jQuery object is kind of a list, an array. If we type hide, so that hides all the elements here with that CSS selector gone. When we get an element from a jQuery object, it actually returns the default JavaScript version. And it does select this one, the first one, as you will see. There we go. So as soon as we access an element here, it does not but it's not a jQuery object anymore. So document object model element. So style dot. Or we can type class. That's just an example. Class. Class list, I believe, dot add. And then we type active. And now Bing, it's active by default. Very cool. How do we know which commands to hide when we press a category? Well, we can use some dynamic rendering here. So in mixins here, what we add is 
for each command here. Now, what I don't like is how each command is a separate unordered list. Basically, we can fix that by typing that. So, that is more code, but it's more, it makes more sense for, it makes more sense in HTML. So we're not having multiple lists for each command, we're just having one. So now that just joins it together, as you can see. Very cool. I, I like that more, to be honest. In mixins, that's why we opened it. So in command, we want, the, want to set the module name of the command. What we can do is type class. And now, we can, this is a dynamic attribute. We can type command dot category. If I say module and basically if I, if I say module, that basically means command. But we don't need this syntax, we can just type, so in class we can type command.category. Now, if we look at the classes for each command, we get list group item. Okay, I need a refresh, I forgot to refresh, I think. But now when we refresh, we get general. So if we go in here, this is the, is basically the element we want. Can actually name that to selected. That makes more sense. jQuery can be very complex, by the way. In my experience, we can hide all commands that aren't part of that category. How we do that is we can type dot commands. We go into commands, and now we type the category name, which is. We can get the name, const category name equals so we can type this, we can get the category name, this dot class list. We're also gonna type this equals selected, we're gonna name it selected. So selected, selected dot class list. Uh, it's not class list. It's has class category. We need the class list. That's what we need. Class list. So how do we do that? We type selected zero class list. Like body here as a test. Got class list. Okay, so class list, and then the second one, which is the first element in this case. So comes category equals boom. As the category name. So commands with category dot hide. So we're just gonna hide all the commands basically that don't follow this scheme. Commands li.hide. And then we're just gonna show the other commands here. So now, let's see if that works. So what is the category here? Let's log the category in the console. So active, that is the category. Interesting. So actually, instead of that, we can type, to get the ID, we can type selected.id or selected, selected.id. I'm going to set the ID here instead. That seems the easier approach. If we go in mixins here, instead of class here, we're going to identify, because there's only one, we can use ID. And then the category dot name. Now this category is different. The category. Now we have a slight problem here, which is okay. Never mind. The 
Okay, we have a slight problem here, which is we want the category here to be in the default category, the categories in the commands to be in proper case. And also, so we don't have to recase anything, if that makes sense. Okay. So we want one case for the category, which is title case, I guess. Now, selected the ID, let's see, F5, um, refresh, undefined. If we type zero the ID, what does that do? Oh, we get the ID there, look at that. So, we want the first element, the ID. One thing, we need to add dot because it's a class. So we need to refresh so that this is no longer camel case or whatever case we were using. So now when we restart, it has general. I keep forgetting to restart. So now when we go to general, it actually works. So we can type if commands dot commands li dot length now length because it's kind of an array that will get all the elements selected. How many elements were selected with this selector? Dot length. So if there's no elements that match that, we can add a p tag here. We can have an ID of command error, something like that, after each command. And that will equal nothing by default, as you will see. So. There is nothing to see here, so we type p uh, command error dot text. Now this is another thing that works. There is nothing to see here. Why is that not going to work? Because when we type that, they're not actually gone. They're still there, or they're just hidden. I'm going to make this a variable. So this is what we want. So const elements thing so category commands so category commands I'm gonna call that dot show so if there's no category commands then to show then set the command text there's nothing to see here there's nothing to see but we're still getting this we're gonna make this ternary so that it changes so, if category commands dot length thing, then set it to that. Or if that if there's is something to see there, just ignore it. There we go. Okay, so let's refactor this in a function so we can, when we press F five, get the auto mod. Um, auto mod by default. I'm going to set this like that. We can just refactor this to a function called set category. So function set function set category. Bing. Oh. So now let's get rid of this. Cool. So the value of this does not change here, so I'll show you. It's just labeling the function that was in there. But how do we make the first one active automatically when it loads? So we can bind the value, so we type set category, bind the value of this. So we type bind. So what bind does is it sets the value of this here. It sets this to whatever we specify here, which is, so we get the first category here. Bing, and then the first element, boom. So we bind that, and now we want to call it. That's what we type. There we go, that's it. Now when we press general, 
it loads the commands with the module general and that is cool. So in the next video we'll add search functionality and then we'll finish commands so there we go and then after commands we can have login and everything else.